I'm so hungry all the time. Griezmann confirms Atletico exit. Syria makes the wrong call. Spurs have some good news in their Champions League preparations. We've got a roundup of the day's transfer rumors. And of course, we have this week's great debate. That and more coming up in the next few minutes as I'm your host, Matt Froelich. You are the one footballers and this is the Daily News. But very quickly, before we get started, another reminder about the latest release on the One Football app. For this weekend only, you can watch La Liga Conference live from your phone for just 99p. That's to all our customers in the UK and Ireland, and it's together with 11 Sports. There's no subscription required. All you have to do is go onto the relevant match page, click Buy Now, and you'll be charged through the iTunes Store or the Play Store. However, with that said and done, let's get straight in to the Daily News. First off, and Antoine Griezmann has finally come out and said that he is leaving Athletic Madrid in the summer with Barcelona looking like the most probable destination. There was no sort of weird video like he did with the decision last summer where he said that he was going to stay. This time he came out of the press conference and said that after five years he wants a new challenge and is looking to move on. It's understood that Barcelona will be paying the 120 million euros in order to sign the French World Cup winner and at 28 it looks like this is the last chance he'll get at a pretty big move. Over the five years, he hasn't actually won too many trophies at Atletico Madrid, but has finished as their top goal scorer in all of the five seasons that he's been playing there. With Luis Suarez entering his early 30s, it looks like Barcelona really are looking for competition for Suarez and also looking towards the future ever so slightly. Now, despite only signing a new five-year deal last summer, it looks like time really has come to an end for the former Real Sociedad player. However, he does leave Atletico with some really good memories and had a scoring rate of better than one goal in every two games with 133 strikes in 256 matches. This only compiles the misery on Diego Simeone, who's also lost two other first-team players. The defender Hernandez has moved on to Bayern Munich and Diego Godin came out last week and said that he would also be moving on in the summer. But next up, it's some rather shocking news coming out of Serie A, where the league have decided not to punish Cagliari for their racist abuse of Juventus striker Moyes Keane. The fans were said to be making racist chants at Moyes Keane, and then it got even worse when he scored the second goal in the game and reacted by holding his hands out aloft. Now, after the game, defender Leonardo Bonucci and manager Max Allegri said that Keane shouldn't have incited any of the chanting by celebrating like that after the goal. However, that's completely wrong. There is no way on earth that you can justify that kind of abuse. So, Syria have done nothing about it by saying there was limited relevance from the chanting to race. This is absolutely disgraceful. Racism is completely abhorrent and not tolerated in football or anywhere in society. So how, when Syria have such a perfect opportunity to make a statement and set out the stall for racism, they've just completely bottled it and done nothing about it. It's pretty poor news and it doesn't reflect too well on the Italian game as a whole. But up next then to some Champions League final news, even though the game is still two and a half weeks away. As for Tottenham, they're pretty hopeful that they'll have three first teamers back ready in time for the final in Madrid. First off, and it's Jan Vertonghen who is back in training after limping off in the last few moments in their win against Ajax last week. Next up, and Harry Kane who's been missing since the first leg of the quarterfinal against Manchester City. He's returned to the field and will be doing some ball work. And Harry Winks has been out for a while also looks set to return and potentially to partner Moussa Sissoko in midfield. From the other side of the Champions League final and Liverpool are hopeful that Roberto Firmino will be back and fit for the final. His injuries kept him out for the last few weeks however he looks okay. As for Naby Keita though it's bad news and a rather serious injury in his adductor means that he's facing two months potentially the whole summer out of action. So next up we come to a roundup of all the day's transfer rumours and first off Martel Taylor Crossdale the Chelsea youngster has rejected the new contract to become the latest English player to try his luck in the Bundesliga. This after it was announced that Hoffenheim are close to agreeing a contract with the 18-year-old. Elsewhere, Ryan Sessegnon has rejected Manchester United and wants to move to Tottenham because of the chance to work under manager Maurizio Pochettino. Elsewhere, and Arsenal have joined Leicester in the race to sign Ren midfielder Ismaili Saar. And Bayern Munich have opened talks to Manchester City over their winger Leroy Sané. So lastly but not least, we come to this week's great debate. For those of you guys who are new around here, this is where the people in the One Football Newsroom set us a question for everyone to answer. Of course, you can check out their answers and mine in the app and the relevant article. However, for the comment section down below, we want to know from you guys which was the greatest goal scored this season in Europe. Now, of course, there are so many to choose from. However, for me, you can keep your Champions League goals. Forget about the title-winning strikes of Vincent Kompany. But when you score a ridiculous left foot on the full volley, 
volley from 25 yards out, well, that's got to be the winner. Step forward, John McGinn of Aston Villa in the championship. An unbelievable strike against Sheffield Wednesday, and that definitely takes home the winner's medal for me. Of course, let me know your thoughts on the great debate and everything else down in the comment section below. Will Leroy Sané really be leaving Manchester City and heading to Bayern Munich? And what do you make of the preparations ahead of the Champions League final? Again, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button whilst you're down there and click here or here to check out all of the other videos on OneFootball. But until next time, I'll see you guys later.